1.5 liters, three cylinders. What is this? Well, this is Ford Fiesta ST, and it is supposed to be a hot hatch. Is that so, dear Ford? Flying high in terms of ambitions, aren't we? Castrating cylinders, hoping no one will notice. So what is it gonna be? Are we in for a bit of fun? Or is it going to remain a false fantasy? Well, I say let's crack on and find out what this red beauty is all about. One, two, two three. Okay, Fiesta ST, let's see just how quick you are or let's see just how good I am. Generally speaking, I do not launch cars with manual gearboxes, purely down to the fact that I do not like to embarrass myself. But hi, fear is for terrible whims. So let's do this. I'm gonna put you into spot mode. Okay, launch control. I wanna activate it. Let's see where you are. There you are. It's supposed to be active. Time will tell. Okay, foot on the clutch. I'm gonna put you into first gear. Come on, let's go. Oh, second gear. Now I have to do it in the third gear. It lacks to rev, but it runs out of breath at 5,000 RPMs. So the declared zero to 100 is 6.5 seconds, and I am 7.39. Hi. No bad for the first launch control with a manual gearbox. But this thing has got some punch. I have to say, I am very, very impressed. It is all coming out of a 1.5 litre three cylinder petrol engine. you still need some degree of practicality. So let's check the boot space. We've got 311 liters of space, very practical shape of the boot. If this is not enough space to carry all your clutter, you can always fold the back seats down. And that is enough about the boot space. This engine produces 200 horsepower and 290 newton meters of torque. Rather petite, but quite punchy and very alive. Now, fuel economy without nanning the throttle pedal, a combination of city, congested city, motor Y, B roads, just over seven liters. Now, once you start getting to more, more aggressive games, drive it hard in a sport or race mode, launch control, and all that jazz, you're looking about nine liters, bugger all. <laughs> now, six speed manual gearbox. <laughs> Oh, boy, I have missed you, a manual gearbox. That is, oh, it is nice. The gear change is nice and short, but it's got a bit of a wiggle room. It's a lot more chilled if we compare it to, let's say, Hyundai i20N. Now, easy clutch pedal, and technically, from a gearbox perspective, this car is actually very easy to live on a daily basis. It starts from just under 27,000 pounds in the UK. And what about being a passenger in Fiesta ST? So I have adjusted the front seat for my height, which is just over 1.7 meters, five foot seven. I actually have pretty decent legroom, a very good headroom. What about the middle seat? Well, it is rather petite, so it's only good enough for a child. But here you also have the lovely Alcantara on the seats. And actually Ford has done pretty good here. I'm in love with all your lights and your colors. I'm in love with all your nights. 
I'll tell you what, for 1.5 litre three cylinder engine, it sounds very decent. You pop this car into the sport mode, you've got the button conveniently located on your steering wheel. So let's do that. You put your foot down, and when you lift your foot off the throttle, the engine becomes more vocal. What else is vocal? Are the speakers? A bit of a fake sound coming out of the speakers. Why did you have to do that, Ford? Well, no, you didn't have to do that. The steering is quick, it's very quick, borderline hyped, as if it has had a triple espresso right before I hopped into this car. Similar actually to Puma ST. Also, it bounces a little bit, sort of, it seems to be, it's not bad, but it's just a question of getting used to it. But what it is, it is sharp, precise, exactly what you need in a hot hatch. As part of the performance pack, you get a limited slip differential. Handling here is phenomenal. When you chuck this car in the corner, what a limited slip differential will do is pull you out of the corner. This is a front wheel drive car. You'll feel it. You are very much in control of this car. Having said that, when you are a little bit too quick around the corner, you might just lose a little bit of grip because it's so light, which is exactly what makes this car so much fun. Now, I reckon if I switch the traction off, I will go sideways. Now, the brakes here are solid. They're not too grabby. They are just right. let's have a quick look at the cabin so this is the st extreme i get a sporty steering wheel sporty dials sporty pedals sporty knob you also have the red stitching running across the cabin i like it the quality of the materials the fit and finish is actually pretty good nothing squeaks nothing wobbles everything is well put together this is a fake cabin but it actually looks pretty good let's jump into space and practicality so larger bottle of water tees could you fit that in a doll bin no you cannot but you can pop that bottle in here in here very good big pocket down here okay wireless mobile charging very convenient 12 volt socket usb ports glove box actually pretty big size now recaro sport seats they might not be everybody's cup of tea because they're not exactly fluffy and soft well they're not supposed to be, but they do such a good job when you go bananas on a twisty road. But for those who carry a bit of weight, a bit of baggage, it always gets a little bit harder. But you've got lumbar support, something I really appreciate. Very, very good. Okay. ST badge on the steering wheel, onto the infotainment system, this is a touch screen of course. Simple, straightforward, nothing complicated about it. We get the BNO um, navigation which is good, it's pretty quick. You can of course plug in an iPhone on your Android. You've got the shocker button down here, physical knobs for climate control, for volume. I like it, everything is clean and cluttered just the way it's supposed to be in a hot hatch because in a hot hatch, what you wanna focus on is actually driving. But this cabin just works, it's very functional and actually looks pretty cool. Heavier. admit though I was a little bit skeptical because I was afraid that Ford might just try to build a car that's a jack of all trades. Truth be told the only areas Ford has really compromised in is the gearbox and the easy maneuvering. I've got special dampers to make my journey smoother but I'm riding on large alloys and I do feel bumps, potholes, imperfections because the suspension is stiff. Now, if you're in your 20s, it's fine, but if you appreciate comfort, you might find this car a little bit tiring on a daily basis. Although it's nowhere near as tiring as the Abarth, which is of course very loud. Now, you don't buy this car for comfort, do you? Of course not. And I'm actually very glad that Ford did not manufacture a lukewarm hatch. 
plaster nasty badge on it and call it a hot hatch. So I thought, chopping cylinders, hoping no one will notice? Let's not deny it. What you've done is very risky emotionally and in turn commercially. But I'm happy to confirm that this engine is not a failure. Quite the opposite. And truth be told, three cylinders will save you some money on fuel, which in this day and age is very, very expensive, very, very sad. Fiesta ST is still a fun, feisty little rocket. I personally absolutely love it. You can floor this thing, you can chuck it around the corners and you can have so much fun. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful day, whatever that you're up to, and I shall see you all very, very soon. Bye.